In this video, I share with you my top secrets and tips on how to become a better option trader. Some of these secrets and tips I didn't necessarily pick up in option trading. I picked them up in other businesses that I owned or from other successful business owners that I had the privilege of strategizing with. However, I realized that the advice fit perfectly into the formula of what it takes to be a successful option trader. So in no particular order, here we go. What is the dominant emotion that you feel every day? I'm here to tell you that there are two emotions that have absolutely no place in option trading. They are fear and greed. Let me ask you this. How does it make you feel if I told you that I knew a way that you could make $158,000 in the next 30 days? It's absolutely not a scam. I don't get anything out of it. And I have enough money, so I don't need any more money. But I can share the secret with you because it won't cost me anything. What are you feeling inside right now when I tell you that? Greed? The fear of missing out? A trader who allows fear and greed to influence their decisions will never be a good long-term trader. To be a good long-term trader, your decisions must be based on logic, facts, and a well-thought-out game plan. If you look at every successful trader throughout history that was successful over the long term, none of them ever allowed fear or greed to influence their good trading decisions. As a matter of fact, if you read some of the interviews about successful traders, they will always say that their worst decisions were when they let emotions get involved. So you're probably thinking, oh, that's great, Randy. It's easy for you to say that, but that is so hard to do. And you know what? I agree with you on that. It is really hard to do. I mean, you work so hard for the money that you get. It's really hard to not let fear and greed influence your decisions. The advantage of doing a business for a long time is that you have the ability to look back on success and failure. I promise you, if you can take fear and greed out of your option trading business, you'll be a much more profitable option trader. The second secret I want to share with you about how to become a better option trader is to be patient. I learned the value of being patient first as a real estate investor, but it applies perfectly well to us option traders. I know firsthand because I found myself thinking that almost every potential trade that I came across was the last good trade that I'd ever see in my life. So I need to put as much of my capital to work in it as possible so I can maximize my profit. As a young real estate investor and stock and option trader, I was so desperate to find the next big deal that I felt like every deal I ran across was the last good deal on the planet that I'd ever seen in my life. I mean, deep down, I knew that there were probably other good deals. But when I stood in front of a property or saw a potential option trade on my computer screen, I couldn't quit thinking that I had to get this deal as fast as possible and make as much money as possible on it. It felt like it was the last good deal that I'd ever seen. I literally felt that way the first three or four years of being an option trader as well as real estate investor. And you know what? Looking back, none of those real estate deals and only a few of my option trades were what I really consider good deals. As a seasoned option trader now, I know better. Every deal I look at, whether it's a real estate deal or a stock or option trade, I know 1000% beyond the shadow of a doubt that this will not be the last good deal that I'll run across in my life. And to be frank with you, it's most likely not the last good deal I'll run across this week or maybe not even today. So what I'm trying to say is, please be patient. There's always another good trade out there for you to take advantage of. If you miss this one, I promise you'll find another one. The third secret I want to share with you actually me right in the face one day about 20 years ago when I was sitting at lunch with a very successful businessman. I'll absolutely never forget this piece of advice and I've shared it with hundreds of people that I've coached and mentored over the years. It's probably one of my top five most valuable pieces of advice I've ever received about business. I promise if you do this one piece of advice, you will become an elite option trader. The man I was having lunch with owned over 250 cash advance places across the United States. He told me his goal was to net at least $1,000 per month on each one of those stores. He had so much cash that he didn't know what to do with it. So he was buying real estate with all that excess capital. That's how I ran across him. I sold him a 23 unit apartment complex that I had bought, remodeled, and was then looking to sell. I had heard that the guy was really wealthy, but I didn't know personally exactly how wealthy he was until I sold him that apartment complex. I ended up owner financing it to him. Even though the total combined rents for the 23 units was right at $13,000 a month, he paid me $13,000 a month as a monthly payment until it paid off several years later. By going back to him and I sitting at this restaurant for lunch, I had been in real estate about five years at that point. I just wasn't making the kind of money that I thought I was going to make in real estate at that point. So I was frustrated. I told him I was thinking about selling all my rental properties and buying a McDonald's or a Subway or some other franchise like that. He told me, and I'll never forget this, he said, Randy, you've just spent five years making a bunch of mistakes and learning from those mistakes. So now you're a pretty decent real estate investor. Why would you want to start over with five more years of brand new mistakes and some brand new business? It wasn't the response that I was looking for. It honestly felt like I'd just been punched in the gut with a sledgehammer because mentally I had checked out of real estate. I was done. But he was absolutely right. 
If you want to be an awesome options trader, stick with it. When it doesn't work out the way you hoped in year one or year two or maybe even year three, just keep at it. He told me that the only way you become the best at what you do is to pick one or maybe two things, become so good at them that it's hard for anyone else to compete against you. That's exactly what he told me and I'll never forget it. That one piece of advice has helped me to become a very successful real estate investor as well as option trader. If you want to be one of the best option traders in the world, the only way you can do that is by sticking with it, learning from your mistakes, finding out what trading style best matches your personality, and then do it over and over and over again until you become one of the best in the world. Then just keep doing it. By the way, if that was really useful, what I just share with you, then I'd love it if you just give this video a like. Just bump the like button and thank you so much for doing that. My next secret I want to share with you is to find a strategy that fits your personality. I've tried almost every option strategy that I've run across and you know what's ironic? My main option strategy now is one of the first ones I ever learned because I found that it matches my personality and it's consistently profitable. Yes, I have tweaked it over the years, but since I like to win a high percentage of the time, I like to have consistent cash put into my account every single month, the strategy that I use is perfect for my personality. Find a strategy that matches your personality. And even though you may not be good at it at first, good coaches and mentors, they can help you if you choose to go that route. But stick with it. You become so good at it that eventually you might be one of the best in the world. My next secret to becoming a better ops trader is to never stop learning and honing your skills. The best ops traders I know, in fact, the best business people that I know, they never stop learning and trying to become better at what they do. It's just a part of their life. As a long-term options trader, I still, to this day, spend at least several hours a week trying to learn to become a better option trader. Always be working to improve your skills and increase your knowledge as an option trader. That's the formula to make more and more money as the years pass, and yet it will become easier and easier to make that money. The next thing could have been included in my very first one, but I wanted to make sure you knew how important it is. I mentioned fear and greed at the beginning of this video. Now I want to tell you to think about something that is the complete opposite of what 99% of option traders think about. If you and I are playing baseball and I take your bat, your baseball, and your glove away from you, you are no longer playing baseball. If you're trading options and you lose all of your capital, you are no longer trading options. What I'm trying to help you appreciate is that as an option trader, you need to first think about protecting your capital before you ever begin to think about maximizing your return. As a matter of fact, if your return and how much cash you're about to get from a trade is what's always on your mind, try to absolutely forget about return and just try to focus on doing solid trades that will protect your capital. Once that becomes your main focus, no matter how long it takes, then you can begin to focus on improving your return. But even then, always make protecting your capital your number one goal. To go along with protecting your capital is my next secret, and that is to don't risk a large amount of your capital on any one position. You might be absolutely rotting your trade. You sold options at the absolute perfect strike price in the best company and you thought at the perfect time. But something crazy just might happen and your trade can absolutely get blown up. If you're risking most or all of your capital on one or two positions and that happens, well, you've just given your baseball, your bat, and your glove to the person who took your money because you're no longer playing baseball. You're no longer trading options with us. Please don't risk a large amount of your capital on any one position. Depending on which account I'm trading in, we have at most anywhere from 1.5% to at most in our options trading account, 5% at risk in any one position. I know this can be really hard if you have a smaller account, and I have videos that will help you with that, but just make it your goal to have at most 5% at risk in any one position. If you'd like to receive alerts as soon as we make option trades, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see more details on how to use options to consistently put cash into your pocket every single month, check out the video series at the link above in the description below entitled Option Trading Monthly Cash Flows. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.